Good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Fairuz bin Zamani from University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. Today I'll be presenting on Razak Abdul Aziz's 10 Pantun settings, inspirations behind the chosen text. Razak Abdul Aziz as a composer had been writing music since the 1980s. Among his works are 10 Pantun settings for violin and piano, 5 early songs and etudes for piano solo. Razak, as an academic, he had lectured at Music Department Institute Technology Mara from 1986 to 1993, then moved to School of the Arts, University Science Malaysia from 1993 to 2019. Review on Past Composers Composers in the past had used existing texts from various poets as the lyrics in their songs. Examples are Schubert's song cycle Winterreise uses poems by Wilhelm Müller, Schumann's Dichterliebe uses poems from Heinrich Heine, Poulenc's Le Bestie uses texts from Guillaume Apollinaire. Razak himself had used existing texts from poets for his other works. For example, Five Early Songs uses English texts from five different English poets and The Fisherman uses texts by George Campbell Hay. Some background on 10 Pantone settings. This work consists of 10 songs with the following instrumentations, either for one voice and two pianos or one voice and one piano or one voice, one piano, and one violin, or two voices, two pianos, and SATB choir, or one voice, two pianos, and SATB choir, or SATB choir, and two pianos. The complete work has been performed four times in the past. First, Aswara Opera Season 5 in May 2018, Second, Senzo Kugakun University in Tokyo in August 2018. Third, Festival Saniswara USM in December 2018. And fourth, my own recital, Firus Zamani PhD in Music Performance Recital 2 in February 2020. Inspired by Ahmad Abdullah's Nyanyan Kanak Kanak, which Razak found in the collection of poem by Zabba called Kalung Bunga, published by Dewan Bahasa and Pustaka in 1964. Ten Pantun Settings was written from 1981 to 1990. Together with the composer's experience in his early years growing up in Pulau Pinang had inspired him to write music to the chosen text. According to interviews I made with the composer in November and December 2018. The first song is called Buai Ade, inspired by the open space of a typical Malay traditional house. Razak imagined a woman who was abandoned by her husband, swaying her baby in a cradle, trying to be strong by not showing her emotion. Second song is called Buat Kueh. Back in the days, people used pasu or guri, which is a type of mixing bowl made from clay for cake making. The sound and physical movement produced during the whisking process had inspired Razak to write this song. Third song is called Mandi Mandi. The offbeat accents were used to depict the halting movements of Egyptian hieroglyphs. The music then changes its character to a more majestic manner to depict children role-playing in a game of make-believe, believing that they are the royals. First, fourth song is called Jangan Tengok Kami. Raza imagined two groups of villagers carrying two cross pairs of bamboo sticks, as if dancing magonative dance. Fifth song is called Soro Soro. This is the most beautiful song or the most colorful song in the entire cycle, in my opinion. 
inspired by child game of hide and seek. Sixth song is called Pinjam Dandam. This is a conversation between a young girl who is playing make believe and her aunt Mak Uda. Inspired by Wayang Kulit Kelantan, Razak imagined the song to begin with curtain rising and closing like in a Wayang Kulit play. Number seven, Lumba Berkejar. This song is about a person running away from a group of fat people which is represented by the choir. Razak imagined this group to be on Kuda Kepangs, moving only from side to side. As this person is running forward and this group moving only from side to side, the distance gets greater with time, hence giving this person an easy win against the fat people chorus. Number 8. Kalau Salah Jangan Malu This is the only song in this entire cycle that is dedicated to an SATB choir. Razak Abdul Aziz was inspired by a scenery at a fun fair where he chanced during his early years. The colored lights and the repetitive but hypnotic tunes. Song number 9 is called Lan Kula in Son Lan. Raza had always loved looking at fairy tales and legends during his early years. These are translated into swift musical passages in the opening, middle, and closing sections. The last song of the cycle is called Ba Ba Cha. The long introduction is to depict the forlorn of the abandoned woman, waiting for her husband, though knowing he is never coming back, as he is now with another woman. The motif used in this song is a nuance of the first song of the cycle, Buat Ade, indicating the finality of the work, concluding the whole cycle. Conclusion 10 Pantun settings has great value in the music repertory as it follows the great tradition while upholding local, almost forgotten old Pantun. Researchers should more explore works by this composer and other local contemporary composers as it is still lacking in the academia. Thank you.